right, so this is what happens when Braden dreadlocks get left in for more than the two or three months they're supposed to be in. Her roots are fucking dreaded so bad. Now this was not her fault. She was stuck in the hospital with no way out and she didn't want to let go of her hair. So now today I am going to take this out, comb these big fucking mats out somehow. And then we're dreading her hair and attaching these things permanently so this is never a problem again. I will come back and show you what it's like when I get this mess sorted. Tell me when it's going. It's going. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how fun it is to take this shit out. Eh. So maybe any of you that think keeping your braidens in are a good idea? It's not. It's painful and I'm taking these out and undreading those dreaded top part to put actual dreads in after. Because the sectioning for braidens is no good for actual dreads. Ask her, they started pulling and hurting and all sorts of good stuff. And even the ladies at the hospital tried to tell her that she was going to have to cut these out and she was like, fuck no! <laughs> I can fix anything. That doesn't mean you should make me though, because this was an accident, it was not a planned boo-boo. You tell me you kept your braid ends in for seven months, you're fucking taking them out yourself. <laughs> I know nails either, so this sucks. I don't even think I could use my comb to do it. I used to do that, but these are so tight. I know. <laughs> I don't know, I put these in like a fucking champ, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. What time is it? Yeah, no clock anywhere. I'm gonna see. 21. Oh wow, so no, we've been at the this. the time of the recording is going. Oh. Those so are seconds, not minutes. You <laughs> old bastard, let it go. Alright, so we changed our battery and we're good to go. I got all those little extensions out just by pulling them out. Now we're going to comb the dread out. So this also proves that you can comb dreads out. Mm, it's just not a fun fucking process. For her especially, this has got to be painful. These ones at top aren't so bad, that's why I'm kind of using them as an example. But when we were doing the ones back here where she sleeps and where she was laying at the hospital, motherfucker. I feel bad for her. I don't know how she's not fucking... Screaming? Yeah. I know. That's what I told her. I'm like, you're fucking taking this like a champ. Because, yeah. This is brutal. But the fact that you aren't washing often and that your hair's nice and oily right now is kind of working in our favor, oh, too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Is it... Well, that's a lot that... easier than I thought it would have been. Well, yeah, the top is a lot, a lot looser. It's still. But it does come out fairly easy up here. Is the back that was like. Wow. Well, she's also had these in for how many months? Uh, 
was it April? May? April or May, and we are now September, so you lose a hundred strands of hair a day in your brush. That's all coming out right now, so... Plus, I'm obviously pulling some right out of her scalp. That's ine inevitable. But it is what it is. We're just going to dread what we have left. Put the extensions on permanently. And then we don't ever have to worry about this again. Then she's going to go home and dye the shit out of her roots. And... And then she's not going to come and see me for a long time. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you what it's like when I get them all out. Alright, so all finished. Dreading her extensions and permanently. Now she can go stay in the hospital as long as she wants. <laughs> and she will not have a disaster after. As long as she can get the nurses to separate her hair. <laughs> well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But yeah, it turned out fucking great. We got 62 dreads. Beautiful. And they are fucking gorgeous. We're scalpy because they're new, but that'll go away once they grow out a little bit. So pretty. And how many hours are we like? Nine hours. Not bad for coming out that disaster. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs>